gave birth to my daughter in April 2020 and immediately suffered from postpartum psychosis. Many heard about postpartum depression but have no idea on postpartum psychosis, which is a serious mental health illness happened only to 1 in 500 mothers after giving birth. The symptoms including hallucinations, delusions, a low and manic mood, and many more. It usually starts within the first two weeks after giving birth we should be treated immediately as a medical emergency. The exact symptoms started to kick in one week after my delivery when I was in confinement centre. It started with insomnia for days, followed by hallucinations and delusions. I kept on talking to myself in illusions and completely detached from my reality. I couldn't manage myself, let alone my baby. The worst had yet to come. I kept on hearing voices charging me to harm myself and to end my life, and I couldn't resist it. My husband brought me to a psychiatric. On doctor's advice, besides emotional supports for my loved ones, I was given medication treatment. However, the hallucinations didn't disappear right away. Within days, the voice induced me again to commit suicide by biting my own tongue, and I did. Thank God, we were at my sister's house Together with my sister and my brother-in-law, my husband stopped the could-have-happened tragedy. We ended up that night in hospital, diagnosed by another psychiatric that the complication of my postpartum symptoms was due to the augmentation of my unknowing obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD. Over time, the medication gradually intercepted my neural disorder. I could now sleep well, and considered stable, but occasionally I still heard the negative voices which made me went off on a tangent in my daily life and I often felt depressed and stressed especially when my baby cried. I couldn't help but shied away from the role as a wife and a mother. At that time, my husband took up the parental roles while taking care of me. Thank God for he is supportive and accompanied me throughout the journey prayed with me and encouraged me. Everyone in our church, especially pastor and pastor's wife, who learned of my condition, interceded for me. In my distress, I prayed to God and read Bible. Although I couldn't touch God, but I knew He was with me. Fast forward to today, from taking 20 mg of medication pill a day 18 months ago, today, the dosage has reduced to 2.5 mg a week. Though still on medication, I know God has healed me completely. I shall testify that I have not only physically and mentally healed, God dealt with my spiritual deficiency as well. I was prideful of myself. I thought I was capable and would perform to my best to seek assurance and affirmation from other people so much so that I was sometimes being judgmental of others. Not knowing that the sense of egotism was the result of my sense of inferiority. If it weren't of this illness, I, would, I wouldn't admit that I am a self-absorbed person. God wanted to remove my old self. I was wrecked in my illness. Nothing I could do apart from holding on to God. I needed God in every second of my life more than ever before. I prayed, read Bible, and soak myself in His presence. In my helplessness, God reminded me of my first and true identity in this world is His daughter, regardless of who am I. I need not perform to earn anyone's affirmation. Today, I have learned to always put myself in someone else's shoes and think more of other people than myself. Weeks ago, God blessed me with another gift my ex-company called and offered me to rejoin them. I accepted the offer and commenced work. I am grateful that God is always good to me and granted me this special gift personally. For every trial, there is God's will in between and lesson for us to learn. If we obey, He will bless us according to His will and timing. Pastor shared with us about the book of Job. Job was wealthy and a righteous man before God. But within a day, all was taken away from him and he afflicted with sores all over his body. Despite these appalling incidences, Job didn't sin and persevered until the end. 
God bless him double by the end of the story. I am not equal myself to Job, but like Job. I know I need to wait upon the Lord, obey Him, and persevere until the end. Now, I can see the blessing of God is upon me and my family. It is written in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. The Lord Himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Thank God for being with me and my family all the time. All glory and honour to our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope my testimony brings encouragement to you today. Thank you.